Hello friends, welcome. Let us take an example of EOQ model with constant rate of demand. The problem is, the production department of a company requires 3600 kilograms of raw material for manufacturing a particular item per year. That means annual demand is 3600 kilograms. That is D for us. It has been estimated that the cost of placing an order is rupees 36. Ordering cost is rupees 36. That is always per order. And the cost of carrying inventory is 25% of the invent investment in the inventories. Investment in the inventories in simple word is the cost of inventory per unit or per kg in this particular case. The cost of carrying or cost of holding the inventory is 25% of investment in inventory that is cost of inventory. Now what is cost of inventory? The price of rupees 10 per kg. Yes, the price is rupees 10 per kg. Price of what? The price of the item which is here included in the inventory is rupees 10. So we can now say interpret that the cost of holding is 25% of rupees 10 per unit. That is rupees 2.50 per unit per annum. Help the purchase manager to determine an ordering policy for raw material. Ordering policy. We will calculate all possible items which can be part of inventory policy. So let us first calculate EOQ. Optimum or economic order quantity. Economic or optimal. Ordering quantity that is E O Q two D into C O divided by C H whole square root. Now under root two into three thousand six hundred into thirty six divided by two point five. Therefore, EOQ, economic order quantity or optimal order quantity will be 321.99 kg, 321.99 kilograms or roughly 322 kilograms. We can round off the quantity. This is economic order quantity. That means... To have the lowest possible ordering quantity and carrying cost, the company should make order of approximately 322 kilograms every time. Now, the annual demand or requirement of this particular type of inventory is 3600 kilograms per annum. So, the second calculation we will make is number of orders per annum or per year that will be optimal number of orders why optimal because we believe that we are going to follow the EOQ that means every time we will place an order for 322 kilograms or say precisely 321.99 kilograms and start equals to D divided by Q star. Q star here is EOQ. So, it will be 3600 kilograms divided by 321.99 or you can write 322 kilograms per order. So, this will be the number of orders and that comes to 11.18. Since these are results of calculation, we cannot expect them exactly as integer values. These are just results of calculations. Now similarly, as a part of inventory policy, we can calculate optimal order cycle time. Optimal order cycle time. That is 
P star. In simple words, this is the gap between two consecutive orders. This shows the gap between two consecutive orders. First, we are going to use the original formula that will give us answer in number of years. But we will convert it into either number of days or number of months as we want. The formula of T star is exactly reversed to this Q star divided by D. Q star is 321.99 kg. D is 3600 kg. So the answer comes to 0 0.0894 year. The gap between two consecutive orders is 0 0.0894 year. More or less this is a useless answer. What is this 0 0.0894? We have to make it a meaningful statistic. Let us calculate this in number of days. So 0 0.0894 into 365 that is approximately 32.65 or say 33 days. The gap between two consecutive orders would be 33 days approximately if we follow the EOQ pattern or EOQ model that means if we place every time order of approximately 322 kilograms there will be a gap of 33 days between the two consecutive orders. Now this can also be calculated in other way if we divide 365 by number of orders then also more or less similar answer can be derived. Number 4 is total variable cost popularly known as TVC star. TVC star. If we follow the EOQ model that means if our ordering quantity Q star is EOQ itself then we can use this formula 2 into D into CO into CH. Yes. Square root. That will be 2 into 3600 into 36 into 2.5 the whole square root. It comes to 804.98 rupees. 804.98 that is approximately rupees 805 this is total variable cost that means if we follow EOQ model that means in every time if we place order of approximately 322 kilograms the total annual Ordering cost and holding cost would be rupees 805 approximately. Just ordering and holding cost. If every time we place an order of 322 units or rather kilograms, that means if we purchase 322 kilograms of our this kind of material every time, this will be the holding and ordering cost per annum. We can calculate this amount by other formula too. I suggest you to calculate the same thing by the second formula. Now the last thing in the ordering policy or inventory policy is to calculate total inventory cost. Total inventory cost. In this case, we can calculate it because C cost per unit of inventory is available. The formula is D into C plus TVC. D is 3600 kilograms, cost is 10. Plus TVC we have already calculated as 105. That is 36,000 plus 805. So total cost of inventory comes to rupees 36,805 approximately. These are the five important components of inventory policy of any firm or company. That's all. Thank you very much.